Hi Capricorn. Happy New Year. And the deck I am using is Shadowscapes Tarot. It's really beautiful. Really intricate designs. I'm going to try to hold them up. Hopefully you can see the designs. The spread I am doing today is the Gypsy spread which is seven cards from right to left. And then I do three rows of seven cards from right to left. And the first column I will read is the column on the right. And that's going to be the state of mind you have at the time coming into the month. At the time you are watching this video, you are the energy you have bringing into the month. All right, so the first column you have is Five of Swords reversed, Page of Wands reversed, and Queen of Pentacles reversed. So the Queen of Pentacles is an earth sign, which is a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. And Page of Wands is a fire sign. <coughs> Excuse me which is Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. And this person around you, it could be the same person, or it could be two different people. Earth signs are usually good with their resources, their money, their finances, and that's, that's you, actually. So this could be you working in the reversal. You're not being really good with your resources, your time, your money, your energy, your efforts. And there's also that fire sign. So there's somebody in your life that is a fire sign. And normally they're very driven, very passionate, very energetic. And they are acting it out of the reversal. They're being kind of immature, childish, and not being them normal selves. So both you two are not being your normal selves. There was some bickering because Five of Swords Upright is some quarreling, some bickering, some fighting, and saying some things that aren't very nice. Very, Both of you are being hurt by what is being said. But that's in the reversal. You guys stop that. You at least realize that that wasn't helping the situation. And this is how the energy that you are coming into the month. Sounds like a stalemate, like there's a, a truce that has been done. So in your home life, you have the devil reversed, the wheel of fortune, and ace of cups. The devil reversed refers to any type of vice that you have been leaning on, like alcohol, like drinking, like overeating. Um, using drugs or smoking cigarettes or having a lot of sex or whatever it is that you were using as an addiction, as a vice, you have, you have like backed off on it. You realized it's not good to overdo on this and you have subsided in that, that addiction. You are like trying to wean yourself from it. You're watching what you're doing. You have the Wheel of Fortune upright, which is really nice because that means things weren't actually going in your favor. You weren't having the best of luck lately, but because it's upright, that means it's turning and that you will start to have some good luck. 
because it can't always work in the reversal with bad luck. The wheel has to constantly turn and the karma continually shifts and changes and turns for, from good to bad to good to bad. And you are going to get over this hump, whatever this is. And it, this is in your home life, actually. So with the Ace of Cups, there is a lot of love in your home. It's overflowing abundance of love with everyone from, from your, your, your parents down to your pets, to the nieces, nephews, children, whatever have you, your partner. There's over an abundance amount of love just flowing in your house. Your desires for the month, you have Two of Swords reversed, Knight of Cups reversed, and the Empress reversed. So there's a choice that you should have made and it's no longer there. It's no longer available. That choice that you should have made and that's one of your desires, is your desire is you wish that was there still. You wish you could go back in time and make that choice instead of waiting and letting it be made for you or the options to, to leave, to go away. You're wishing, or you, that's your desire for the month, is to have that opportunity to make that choice again. A lot of times, um, earth signs are very slow and methodical about making decisions and unfortunately this is one of the drawbacks of being that way is sometimes you wait too long and then it's not there anymore it's been made for you somebody else in in the equation made the choice and was no longer going to wait until you made it and you also have a desire for a cup sign, which is a water sign, which is Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer. Somebody that, or it could be somebody that has been, they were in the past very romantic and sweet and charming to you, and now they aren't. And you want that back. You want that romance. You want to be, you want to be charmed and, and romanced and and courted you want to be asked out on a date you want to be treated sweet and also you used to have a lot of ideas fresh ideas very fertile and creative ideas but now you are working in the reversal and you can't come up with good ideas you are you are um you have a mind a mind block at this time and you wish you desire to have that removed you desire to be like you used to be and have the Empress card be upright where you are very creative and fertile and charming and and considerate and passionate and loving to everybody around you but right now it's being blocked and you desire that back you desire to be the way you used to be. You want to be like that again. What you expect to happen in the month is Six of Pentacles reversed, the Hermit reversed, and Eight of Swords reversed. So you expect to continue to help people, to continue to to borrow them money, to give them support, and time and effort and energy and and not get reciprocated to get it back you expect this to continue because this is how you are the one that's always stable and like a rock and there to help everybody but they aren't able to help you in return a lot of times you don't need the help but when you do need the help they're unable to help you also so you expect that to continue. You expect to continue to, to search for your spirituality, to find that light internally, and to go outward 
and externally try to search for it, but you need to find it internally. It's an internal thing within you, within your soul. You need to find that light. You need to find that spirituality. But you may get some help, some good ideas by going externally. Like by watching some of these readings, you may get ideas. I've watched videos on on uh, Kundalini and and chakras and stuff, and that helps. So that's what you expect to do for the month, is to continue to look outward, to, to do research on spirituality, to help you to try to find that inner light within you. And you expect to continue... With the Eight of Swords upright, it's talking about feeling trapped. And a lot of times this is this is uh, all in your head because it could be like you hate your job, but you feel you are trapped there because you don't have any other job and you need the money. So it's something that you could get out of. You just need to find another job. But with this in the reversal, things are changing. Things are getting easier. You're not as trapped as you were before. And you expect that to continue to happen throughout the month, to have the chains, to have the boundaries that you had before to slowly, slowly fall away so you can do what you need to do to make the world you want, the life you need. What is going to surprise you in the month is the world, the Hierophant, and the Seven of Cups. So you're going to be surprised at how much you grow this month, how much you mature, you evolve, and, and learn. It could be in that spirituality. You're, you're going to be really surprised at how much you evolve and mature throughout the month. You are going to stick to things that are traditional. The traditional way that you learned how to learn and the traditional ways you, you were raised with, like your traditional religion. You may start going to church more. You may start going to whatever religion you are, synagogue, or you may start praying at home or, or worshiping whatever. Whatever it is that you believe in, you learn this as a child and you were raised with this. This is your tradition and that's how you're going to stick to. You are going to grow a lot and learn a lot. And then you're going to realize that you have a lot of choices. There's a lot of things you could do and you didn't realize this before. You could change your religion. You could change your beliefs. You could change the way you do things. The world is open to you. This is your choice. Your choice to decide which path to take. Some may be weird or bizarre and, and unrealistic for you, but then there is some out there that are really good options. That is what's going to surprise you at how much you learn and how much is out there for you. In your soon-to-be future, so by the end of January, you have Eight of Wands reversed, the Emperor, and the Magician reversed. So, with the Magician reversed, and like I was saying about how you are able to make the world you want, there is some things that you want to change, that you want to make, but you're not going to be able to accomplish it by the end of January. It's being delayed. It's, it's not time. It's not divine timing for you yet. There's still more things that you need to learn. You are pretty good and wise and knowledgeable about certain areas, and people do come to you for help and assistance. But you're not able to push it and materialize what it is you want to materialize at this time. 
the communication has been delayed, your activity level has been delayed. Like I said before, it could be because it's winter and you may be, you may be um, hibernating, you may be hiding out and not being as active as you normally would. So the things that you want to materialize may be things that you need to do in warmer weather, things that you can't do when it's so cold or there's snow out. Or it could just be the timing is not right, the divine timing. You, there's still stuff you need to learn. There's still stuff you need to acquire or accomplish before you can create this. So by the end of January, you still won't be ready. The activity level and the communication isn't going to be enough to materialize what it is you want to make. In your long-term outcome, so within a couple months or maybe even a year, you have the Queen of Cups reversed, the Hanged Man, and Eight of Pentacles reversed. Queen of Cups. Cups is a water sign, which is Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. And they are working out of the reversal. So there is either this person or it could be you where you are being very emotional, you are being um, not in control of your emotions or your feelings towards people close to you, towards your family or friends or people that you are around. You're not being good at handling their emotions or helping them deal with their, their feelings at this time. You're trying to take some time out to go inwards to find that peace of mind. And you looks like you still are working on your spirituality. And you're trying to get some time out in this situation. With Eight of Pentacles reversed, you're not working hard at this situation. You, instead, you're working at your own peace of mind. Instead of... This looks like it could possibly be a relationship, and you're not focused on that as much as just trying to keep your sanity, keep your your um, your peace of mind. You're trying to keep level, and hopefully, once you figure it out, you'll be able to help them and work on the situation more. I hope all of you have a really good. January. Look forward to talking to you again in February. Best wishes.